I'm gonna be real on this channel. After I get done telling y'all what experience was, I would be like, oh no, I don't know if I might get a self septum because it's gonna be worth it at the end after this video. your girl Marty Bray who is in the video as you can tell by the title of this video what this video is going to be based on today I'm just going to be telling you guys how my experience was when I got my septum what to do and how to get it getting affected um the smell and all that things like that first thing you guys must know is it's going to hurt let me give y'all a little rundown today I got a pierced septum wear you guys already know went to go to the mall I wanted to see all the people see how much it was. Say it was seventy dollars. Other one I called, they told me some eighty dollars. Some that's just for the piercing. What? So I wasn't finna do all that. What I did was I called other people. Now in Mississippi, they do have a place that does it for forty dollars. Okay, so if you guys want to know what the place is called, please DM me on my Instagram or Facebook or whatever, and I can tell you guys like what what it's called or whatever yeah so i went to the mall yesterday people seemed nice i mean they were very fluent you know it took a minute because there was already some people there or whatever it was really more it wasn't more of a get in and out situation because if you go there sometimes it might be the people in front of you so just be be aware just be aware if you're not a patient person i went i'll try to make an appointment if i was you i'll make an appointment but um yeah so i did like a walk-in so we went into it's called edison's it's in the mall and um it was a lady that did my um, septum. So I asked her, I was like, hey, will it hurt? She was just like, no, because you got your nose pierced. So it's going to be worse. It's worse to get your nose pierced than your septum. And in my mind, I'm like, I don't know, because that's that's like, this is your septum. This is not your nose ring. You know what I'm saying? I kind of feel like she just wanted me to like set myself up for failure. I was panicking. Like the man, I, every time she came, every time she came up, cause mind y'all, she had somebody in front of me. I had to wait till, you know, she get done with that because you know, and I'm already here. I'm like, I'm, like, I'm telling my mom and my sister, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. I'm not so nervous. Her story, when she got done, she kept coming back and forth cause she had to clean the stuff. Then she told me, she was like, I got to clean and things like that and set up the septum and things like that. I said, okay. We went in the jury area. They had some cute nose rings. I was so mad. It was one that I wanted, but I couldn't get because she said I'm a fresh piercer and it wouldn't fit into my nostril. So that's, that's key y'all. So the first thing is do not expect on getting a new septum that looks nice or that's kind of big or kind of sort of because they're going to tell you, hey, you can't, you know, they're going to let you know before you do it. Now, if you go to a place and they just boom, boom, bam, that's not professional and that's going to be an effect on you in the long run. Like, no, you can't get this one, but you can't get this one. So we went over and I don't know if you guys can see it, but... I got the pointy ends. I was going to get the circle ends, but I wanted to be dramatic. You get what I'm saying? So, I got the little bitty. I don't know if you guys can see. Hopefully, you guys can see it. But, yeah. So, it was like the little bead. This is the septum already, right? She already had the septum, but she told me to choose the bead. So, I did choose this bead. I was so happy because I seen some other ones that looked just like this bead, and they were thick. I'm like, no. And it was so tiny, I couldn't see it. She was like, well, why you just want to get the tiny one? I said, the tiny one? She said, yeah, it's right here. I said, oh, my God. I didn't even see it, y'all. I kid you not, I didn't even see it. So, after that, she was like, okay, I'm just going to sit here, and, you know, and then I'm, I'm going to call you in the back. So, by the time I say... And one minute pass, or two minutes pass. Who been two minutes? It wasn't even that long, really. So she said, "Come back here." So I went back in the back. You know, it was so cute because before you get in the back, you gotta walk past. And this is not a racism, but it's a big old board that got Chinese writing and stuff on it. It's so cute. So I walked right past it. The I had a layout. I was so nervous because I see people sitting up. I see people sitting up like on TikTok and stuff to get their septum pierced, y'all. I had to lay down. That's what made that's what made me nervous. I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta lay down. She's like, lay down. So I lay down, you know, whatever. And I was just explaining to her. We just had a little conversation. She was like, oh, where you graduated from? Because mind you, I walk across stage on May the 23rd. It was like that. And then she was like, where you graduating from? I said, oh, I'm just graduating from blah, blah, blah. blah. And she was like, okay, okay, that's a good school. Blah, blah, blah. So she was like, um, what made you start to get a septum? I told her, like, I, like, like for real. And when I was seventeen, I been wanted to set them, but then I wasn't thinking too much onto it. But when I turned eighteen, I was like, you know what? I might as well just get it, get it out. 
that's it. You know what I'm saying? So after that, um, she's like, okay. So I lay down. Now this is y'all. I'm gonna be real on this channel because after I get done telling y'all what this was, y'all gonna be like, oh no, I don't know if I might get a septum, but get a septum because it's gonna be worth it at the end after this video. So yeah. So when I lay down, she said, I want you to breathe in and out. When you breathe out, I'm going to stick it in. So, y'all, it hurt it so freaking bad. I kid y'all not. I'm not. I'm not even. Hold on. I'm not even exaggerating. Like it hurt it so so bad. So what she did was she stuck a needle through my nose, right? So. I couldn't see it. I couldn't video it because I was going to video it and I wanted to show y'all, but it said no video. You know, it's the policy. I respect the policy. But yeah, so when she stuck the needle, she did just, I said, she did just like this, right? And then she had to do like, she did just like this. Like it went through, but she had to like, soon as she got like to this side right here, she had to like kind of force it a little bit because my cartilage is a little big. So mind y'all, it does depends on y'all cartilage. And they have to find a soft spot before they do it. So I feel like when she added, oh, I should have told y'all, when she did the metal piece, it kind of shifted me a little bit. I'm like, this really hurt. So it kind of hurt it worse with the metal piece than the needle. But with so much pressure, when she stuck it in, and then she did like this, and it got right here. It hurt it so bad right here. She did just like this. I said, oh. I made a sound, y'all. And I'm saying, it hurt it. It hurt it. Like, I kid you not. And then I didn't bleed or anything. Thank goodness. Everything went good, things like that. But, yeah, y'all. So, yeah. So, basically, that's what happened. She stuck the needle in and things like that. And then what hurt it the worst, what hurt it the worst. Tell me what hurt it the worst. When she put the ring in my nose. Why did that hurt worse than the piercing? Why did that hurt worse than the piercing, y'all? Explain to me. What? Why did that hurt worse than the piercing? It hurt it so bad. When she stuck the needle in, the uh, the septum in, I was like, Phew. it made me like tense up. I'm like, okay, hold on. And then she was like, okay, you're done. She said, she told me, she said, oh, um, did it hurt? I said, no, playing it off. So I walked out, whatever, I paid for it. So she did give me a manual on my septum and things like that and how to take care of it, things like that, you know, the little aftercare I'm doing. Well, what I have been using um, is what they gave me, this aftercare solution. It's a 99% saline solution and 1% tea tea, tea oil. Um... So I just been using this morning, evening, night. I clean it three times because yeah, I haven't had no smells yet. I don't know. I just haven't had no smells yet. But if I have a smell, I will most likely let y'all know, and then I'll have I clean it and show you guys how to smell out. But I haven't had no smell yet. I mean, I just got it yesterday, but I'm just still just trying to let y'all in on it. So y'all, at the end of the at the end of the day, get you a septum. Um, don't let them fool you. That stuff hurts, especially when they put that septum in. It might have just been for me, but it's different for others. But I'm just being real, y'all, because that stuff hurt it worse than the nose ring. Telling y'all, don't don't let them hype you up, okay? Don't let them hype you up. Make me like, oh, it's not going to hurt. That's going to hurt. I wanted to just grab her hand and do like this when she did that. Like, I just wanted to end it. But I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to spend this money. I'm going to spend this $70 and get it over with. You know what I'm saying? So, anyways, y'all, yeah. So, make sure you get, just get a septum. At the end, you're going to look uh, like a baddie. You're going to be like, oh, I did that, so. I did that, so. And you did do that, so. But, anyways, you guys, if you guys like this video, please like, comment, subscribe. If you want to see more videos like this, please let me know down in the comment section below. And, yes, I had to give y'all a full one, two on what was going on or whatever. So, yeah, y'all. And make sure y'all stay tuned for my graduation. I'm going to go shopping. I already got my wig done. I already got my wig ready and things like that. So, yeah. End this video off on a good note. Ignore my dogs, y'all. And bye.